This is Artist Unusual. Hello, I'm Randy Wall, and welcome to Artist Unusual, stories of art from the original source, interviews and art jargon. Artist Unusual is about giving artists of all kinds a platform from which audience members can engage into their work. And in this episode we have... On Location Interview. Hello, I'm Randy Wall, and welcome to Artist Unusual On Location. We're here at the Hyena Gallery in Burbank, California, at the Anatomy of Faith exhibit, and we're here with the artist, Jeremy Cross. Jeremy, how are you? I'm always good, man. Great, great. I'm looking around your exhibit, and I can't help but notice the presence of ghosts, robots, and religion. Can you uh, elaborate on that art direction? Sure, man. Um, well, the Ghostopus and the Godbot, which are the ghosts and the robots, I've been using those characters for a while, and with this particular exhibit, I wanted them to interact in the work in a way that they were examining the human reaction to faith and the need for faith. And I kind of let them tell me, in a way, you know, what they're going to do, how they're going to react. And the Ghostopus is pretty much, you know, kind of the good guy. And his reaction is sometimes sarcastic or, you know, sometimes he's, he's scared of something or freaked out by something. And the Godbot's obviously the adversary. You know, there's the, uh, the yin and yang there. So it's all about their examination of, you know, religion, faith, and uh, you know, the human condition and how we react to those things. Wow, that's great, Jeremy. I really appreciate that insight. Well, let's take a look at some of your work. Cool. Jeremy incorporates into his work a technique called pyography, which is to create images by burning natural surfaces. And in this piece called Genesis, Jeremy has depicted the birth of religion with this image of a 13th century devil. It's really symbolizing like the devil's the one that gave you the religion in the first place. You know, I mean, if you're gonna have to believe in the religion, if you have to believe in the devil, then you might as well believe that the devil created it because it makes more sense. In this painting called Snatch from the Jaws of Death, there is a devil whose teeth have been removed. Because it's like, you know, taking the, uh, the danger or the pain away from death and, and the, the power away from the devil. And what's done it is the, the symbol for the heart or the symbol for love. In this piece, there is a guardian angel looking over the ghost puss as the godbot burns in flames. So a little religious imagery, but it's fun, you know, and that's the whole point of the, of the ghost puss is to take something that's kind of heavy and just play with it and, and make it fun. In this biography, there is the Godbot head that speaks of the coming doom upon the city, and a ghostopus who was listening says, That's bad shit, dude. <laughs> it's bad shit right there. It's skulls, and, and you know, representing death, of course. This unusual painting called The Prophet posed a moral and creative challenge to Jeremy. I had no idea where to start painting on it, no idea what to, what to fucking do with it, because it's, it's somebody else's head. Yeah, you, you, you gotta kind of respect that to some degree. After three months of thought, Jeremy decided he would just give it some personality with the addition of a third eye. I'm pretty happy with this little guy. And here is one of Jeremy's favorite images called the Zealot. It describes the aggression of faith from the believer. This traveler is composed of an unblinking eye fixated on a goal with the golden heart of justification and the powerful tentacles that work for the cause. It's really a cute and fun piece, and I like to do the, uh, the really evil things and make them kind of cute. So it's, uh, he's an adorable little bastard. <laughs> this painting of the Godbot is a central figure in Jeremy's show. You know, just the Godbot tearing through the landscape, fighting the ghost of pusses, it kind of brought the whole show together. It kind of says everything. This Godbot called the Crusader is tearing across the landscape, destroying the fragile ghost of puss. And as a side note, this piece is a creative collaboration with artist Christopher Ulrich. It's a beautiful piece and I couldn't have been happier to work with him. This biography called Creationism is burned black with its dark clouds and rain. There is also a skull with a displaced eye, which may suggest a vision from the other side. It's, you know, it's my take on the, uh, the whole evolution creationism debate. And in this piece called RX, we see a ghost puss drooling for its addiction. He's, he's drooling and he's begging for it. He's like, give me my pills. I need my pills, man. And um, that's, that's, that's some of my own, my own shit coming through there. You know, my own history, my own demons. If you make fun of our bad shit, then it doesn't seem so bad anymore. With the Godbot and the Ghostopus, Jeremy Cross creates his own unusual mythology. 